Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, under the series of communicable diseases, we will discuss about poliomyelitis. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to my channel, my student support system. What is poliomyelitis? Poliomyelitis, commonly known as polio disease. This is an acute viral infection caused by an RNA virus. It is primarily the infection of human elementary tract or we can say GIT. But the virus may affect the central nervous system. What is the causative agent of poliomyelitis? The causative agent of this disease is poliovirus, which has three serotypes type 1, type 2, and type 3. The most common cause of polio are due to type 1 virus. Poliovirus can survive for long period in the external environment. In a cold environment, it can live in water for 4 months and in human feces up to 6 months. Source of Infection Human beings are the only known reservoir of infection. Most infections are subclinical but they play a dominant role in the spread of infection. How it spreads. The mode of transmission of polio is fecal oral route. This is the main route of transmission. The infection may spread through contaminated fingers where hygiene is poor or indirectly through contaminated water, milk, food, flies and articles which they use. Second mode of transmission which is less common that is droplet infection. This may occur in the acute phase of the disease when the virus occurs in the throat. Close personal contact with an infected person facilitates droplet spread. Incubation period of polio. Incubation period of poliomyelitis ranges from 3 to 35 days and average is 7 to 14 days. Sign and Symptoms of Polio Normally, the polio cases are seen as the paralyzed child but approximately 91 to 96 percent of polio virus infections have no presenting symptom. This type of infection is known as subclinical infection. In approximately 4 to 8 percent of the infections, it causes only a mild or self-limiting fever due to viremia and the patient recovers quickly. In 1 percent of all infections of poliomyelitis, the presenting features are stiffness and pain in the neck and back. The disease lasts 2 to 10 days and recovery is very rapid. Paralytic polio occur in less than 1% of the infection. The virus invades central nervous system and causes varying degree of paralysis. The predominant sign is asymmetrical flaccid paralysis. The other associated symptoms are malaise, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, headache, sore throat, constipation and abdominal pain. What diagnostic investigations are done for polio? 
Diagnosis of poliomyelitis is not based on sign and symptoms because the majority of cases are subclinical. Only paralytic polio is identified by the presence of flaccid paralysis with history of fever. To confirm poliomyelitis, a lot of tests are done which includes blood examination, throat swab, examination, stool examination and CSF fluid examination. Antibody titer can also be done for confirmation of the diagnosis. So it is spelling mistake, it is throat swab, S-W-A-B. You can note it. Treatment. There is no specific treatment for poliomyelitis. Only supportive treatment such as pain management and physical exercise may help in promoting comfort. Main attention is given to prevent the spread of infection. And for preventing, vaccination is the best system. Polio vaccine is available in two forms. Oral polio vaccine where two oral drops are given and inactivated polio vaccine which is injectable. Pulse polio program is the latest strategy to eradicate polio. Every time during pulse polio program, all children under 5 years of age are immunized by oral polio vaccine. And reporting of all AFP cases means asymmetrical flaccid paralysis is also the strategy to find out any missed cases of polio. Though India has been declared as polio free, but still we are using reporting and surveillance system for searching any possible case. Thank you student for watching this video and for getting notification of next upcoming videos just subscribe the channel my student support system and you can like facebook page of my student support system and for making your notes you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com you can follow me on twitter instagram and join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day